my name is Jessica Jimerson and welcome to Intermediate Tutorials for 3ds Max. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use the look at constraint for character eyes. So let's get started. I'm going to load a character I previously created and I'm going to zoom into the character's eyes. Hit the Z to zoom in close. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the helpers, which is already open here, and I'm going to create a dummy. And I'm going to position the dummy in front of her eye. And bring it in front of her, of course. And put it down a little bit. Now I'm going to scale down the dummy a little bit to right about there. And now I'm going to clone the dummy. Just hold shift and hold it over. That makes a copy. From here I'm going to select one of her eyes. And I'm going to go Animation, Constraints, and Look at Constraint. From here, I'm just going to select the dummy. As you can see, the eye actually flipped, and her pupil is now in the back of her head. So, But that's a really easy problem to fix, so don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and do the other eye before we correct that. So I'm going to select the other eye. And I'm going to click Animation, Constraints, Look at Constraint, and the other dummy box. Now, we can go in and correct this little flipping issue with the eye. I'm going to zoom in close, and I'm going to go to the Hierarchy, Effect Pivot Only. I'm going to grab the Rotation Tool, and I'm going to rotate her eyes until I can find her pupil. There we go. Okay, so that's one eye, and I can go in and correct the other eye. I think I'm going to need to hide her hair really quickly. And just rotate her other eye. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I can unhide her hair. Oh. Little max glitch, don't you love those? Okay, unhide. Oops. Unhide all. There we go. Okay, now as you can see, once I select both dummies, and move them around, the eye follows the dummies. So, now what I want to do is to have both eyes move at the same time with these dummies, I will create another dummy. So, going into the helpers and creating another dummy, like so. I'll make a large one to put both inside of. And I'll scale it down.
Okay, now what I can do to link both of these um, dummies to this new dummy, I'm going to get the link constraint. Oh, well, I'll select both dummies first. And select and link. So there we have it. That should have worked. Nope, let me try that again. There we go. And now, when we move the big dummy around, the eyes will follow both of them. So you don't have to move the individual boxes around, which can be a pain. And if you have, are you, um, excuse me, if you're working with a bone rig or a biped, um, you can actually just go ahead and link this large dummy that holds both the smaller dummies to the head bone. And then they will move with the head. When you turn the head or rotate the head, the eyes will go with it. And you can animate them separately, but it's important to have them linked together because if you don't, when the character's moving around or walking around, the dummy will get left behind. So that's important to remember. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Until next week.